I have that privilege on this side of the river, as Tyler Jacks does on the other, of serving as um, the shepherd of the bridge project, a concept which you'll hear about in a minute, but the foundation of which lies with President Susan Hockfield sitting over here, Tyler, myself, and a beloved uh, Dana-Farber MIT advocate, trustee, and friend, Art Gelb. We're in our third year of existence, and our main goal is to do something about the therapeutics of those forms of cancer that have traditionally not yielded to any form of therapeutics, except possibly surgery, certainly not in a long-term way. And this is a truly skin-to-skin -skin collaboration, soul-to-soul, intellect-to-intellect collaboration between the Koch Institute uh, for Cancer Research, Integrative Cancer Therapeutics Research, other kinds of research at MIT, and the MIT Bioengineering and Biology, especially Cancer Biology faculties writ large, and the faculty of the Dana-Farber Harvard Cancer Center. And uh, to put it very simply, we created this with the idea of bringing new ideas and new forms of scientific practice to bear on um, really terrible problems, unmet problems in cancer treatment. So as we've done two times before, we are going to initiate uh, tonight a cycle which will result in ideally the bringing forth by you all in teams newly created, ideally, teams of MIT and Dana-Farber Harvard investigators of grant applications focused on, ideally, breathtaking new approaches to therapeutic science. Uh, and these applications I'm going to talk to you about in a moment will go through a rather traditional peer review process, which has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and will culminate uh, next spring in the awarding of N new grant applications to cover areas of therapeutic science I'm going to tell you about in a moment. So here we are June 27th, which is the second of a series of two meetings. The first one held on the MIT campus at the Koch Institute at which Dana-Farber Harvard investigators expounded on the natural histories and the ongoing therapeutic science that cover some of the tumor, um, particular tumors that we're going to talk about in a moment. They were very heavily attended, quite enthusiastic, uh, and very interesting discussions held. And also at that time, we heard from the groups of investigators whom we had funded already, especially in year one, who were in the process of passing through the transition from year one to year two, which I'll talk about in a moment. The science, many of us thought, was thrilling, utterly thrilling. And the progress in some of the projects, especially those that had immediate translational value, was also very exciting. So at tonight's session, you're going to hear, those of you, those of you from this side of the river, are going to hear from MIT colleagues who cover a wide variety of interests and accomplishments in areas of engineering and other forms of biological science that are related to what we seek to integrate into the science of this program. There will be talks over the next two hours from six or more MIT faculty, senior faculty, with great accomplishment. Then on August 16th, following a protocol that you can read in the Koch Institute website, in which there is a segment devoted to this program and where there's an RFA that describes the process for application, you can read all that's necessary after you form a team of Dana-Farber Harvard and Koch MIT faculty uh, devoted to assaulting a problem in one of the tumor areas we'll talk about in a moment resulting in a letter of intent to be submitted by August 16th. A real application will be due September 5th. The application is short. It's like five pages. It's pretty easy. And then by mid-October, 
um, there will have been a peer review process involving Dana-Farber, Harvard, and MIT faculty who will review every one of the proposals in detail, just like it was an NIH grant. And then uh, by November 14, we will identify those applicants who succeeded and passed through the appropriate barrier uh, in the mid-October reviews, which are paper reviews, and will be asked to come forward on November 14 to present their cases to present their stories, present their proposed scientific projects orally to um, the peer reviewers. And then final selections will be made shortly thereafter, certainly by December, mid-December, something like that, and monies will be awarded next spring, just as they have been in the past. So make it simple. We're interested in new therapeutic endeavor, research endeavor in these tumors, glioma, pancreas cancer, melanoma, ovarian cancer, and now for the first time advanced prostate cancer, advanced breast cancer, which collectively represent a probably uh, almost a majority of the solid tumors that are faced by patients in Western society. Leukemia for the first time, adult leukemia, not childhood leukemia, acute or chronic, acute and chronic, however you want to look at it. Leukemia is, for the first time, a topic of interest. And then finally, I want to emphasize the fact that we are seeking applications from investigative groups, collaborative investigative groups, MIT, Dana-Farber, Harvard, collaborative investigative groups in the myelodysplastic syndrome. Not the myelodysplastic syndrome and leukemia, not leukemia and the myelodysplastic syndrome for reasons that have to do with the fact that this is a philanthropically driven uh, exercise, th philanthropically uh, driven endeavor. All the grants are funded by philanthropy. There is a possibility that there may be one or more grants funded that meet peer review with enthusiasm and that are focused solely on the biology and potential approaches to therapeutics that make sense, mechanism-driven of the myelodysplastic syndrome. So I can simply make it clear, and we will try to make it clear in writing in, 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 in not too long from now, uh, in sort of a blast email, that MDS is a topic unhinged, unlinked. If it's linked, it might not turn out as well as it would turn out if it were unlinked. In fact, it must be unlinked in this regard. So what are we talking about? We're talking about serious grants of uh, 375,000 spendable dollars per year. There must be in each team that forms co-PIs from MIT and Dana-Farber Harvard. 50 percent of the 375,000 will be spent on this side of the river and 50 percent will be spent on the MIT side. These are one-year awards, but renewable. There will be a progress report given every six months, and after the second progress report, which will be written, um, a decision will be made as to whether there has either been sufficient progress or sufficient effort aimed at repairing the difficulties that block progress that the grant can go on for another year. And so these could potentially be $750,000 grants, and I should tell you that in the first year, all grants were renewed. So this is a very serious amount of money. This is more than an R01 in these times. Uh, and uh, the pay line's probably higher than an R01 in the Cancer Institute at the present time, although I can't guarantee that in the future. These are five-page proposals. These are not big, long, millennial-type documents. So. Um, let me just say that we have a, an expert program tonight, excellent one, which I'm looking forward to, and I'm going to call upon each of the speakers.